help, my onions are walking away. Well, they're not, that's a joke. I made a video, I think last month, on my Egyptian walking onions. And last month, the bulb uh, that was growing, the plant, was further down. It was way down here, but they've traveled up and the whole thing grew up. And I want you to see, this is what they look like. And on top of that, I want you to see this. This little one that's growing out of that will also have baby onions. So you'll get duplicates. You'll get, see, it's hard to see. So you have one, two, three, I think there's four plants here. And then some of these, like this one won't, but this one will. And this one will, this will have duplicate plants. You can leave it and you'll get babies after babies. But what I wanted to show is how nature works, which is really interesting. Okay, I threw a baby onion in there last year and it grew into this big cluster, baby walking onion. And see what it's done? It's already bent over and right there, it's gonna plant itself if I don't cut it off and put it somewhere else. That's why they're called walking onions. There's no seeds. They produce like a live bearing fish. They produce onions right away. I mean, you can eat the baby onions if you didn't want to plant anymore. That's fine too. But this is really fun because you've got an instant plant as soon as it has babies. You don't have to worry about seeds or anything. And you'll know it when it starts to produce, when it's gonna start throwing the, the young onions, because you'll see a, on the bottom, I don't have any now because they've all traveled, traveled up, but there'll be a bulb, it'll be bulbous, it'll be like fat. And then it just travels up and then it will burst. But that's really cool, like this one, like, here, see that's a baby. And then there's some more there. See, this one hasn't even popped open yet. And like I told you, if I wasn't patient, I mean, if, you know, I'd had no patience, I wanted to do something, I could cut this off right now and stick the whole thing in a pot and it will continue to grow. What I would do is cut about that much off and then stick this, the bottom part in a pot and let the top part out and it will grow and set root. Um, if you wait a little bit longer, you can break these apart and then set it in pots and grow it that way. Right now, I don't have time to do anything. Let it do its own thing, and then I'll come through here and do something later. But I've got them everywhere. I mean, they're, they, they came, up, came up there, and they're all over the yard. But they're so cool, and they taste so good. I think they're much better than the green onions you buy at the store. But just wanted to kind of touch base on my onions are walking away. That's really cool. It plants itself. Speaking of planting itself, my celery has turned into weeds. Everywhere I look, down the hill, everywhere, I have celery. This is all celery growing in there. All the green you see, it's all celery. But that's it, just wanted to show you my walking onions, which is really fun. And um, I'll keep you up to date what else is going on. Don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye, have a great day.